We are back. It's 2021. You're watching the Charles and Busco Show, brought to you by White Over Bush, live on Facebook, also YTV. Uh, we are moments away from the kickoff of the first game between Ekaterhuna and Gladstone, under lights out at Eki. Uh, before we talk about that match, let's check in with our mate Mark Childs. Uh, let's see what how his off-season's been, and also he's going to tell us what's going on in the world of White Over Bush rugby this year, Charlesy. Well, kia ora, everybody. Uh, well, the off-season, looking at that picture behind me, yeah, it's been bloody terrible, to be honest. Weeping into my pillow, thinking what might have been. But, look, this season's the new season. Everyone's excited. Uh, again, it's been a sort of a long time coming. It's a late start, but we're all looking forward to getting into some rugby this weekend. So, lots happening this year in Wadalapa Bush Rugby. So, first and foremost, Wadalapa Bush is celebrating their 50th year as a combined union between Wadalapa and Bush. Uh, there will be a celebratory weekend, September 10 and 11, which is uh, being organised by uh, former Wadalapa Bush uh, rugby commentator, current CEO, and current Wadalapa Bush assistant referee, Mr Tony Hargood. So, uh, look, that's going to be an awesome weekend. So uh, details will be up on the website shortly. Uh, but if you've got any questions, contact Tony. That's exciting. Uh, as I say, Premier Rugby and Senior Reserve Rugby start starting this weekend. And then there's a lot of other rugby going on. We've got... Uh, a combined schoolgirls team playing in the Manawatu competition from the 19th of May. Uh, that's an exciting development for, for the local women's rugby scene. We've got college under-15s starting on the 22nd of May with a festival on the 15th, a, a pre-season warm-up there. The first and second 15s are commencing on the 26th of May. Happy birthday, SOS. Uh, and they're having, they're having festival games on the 12th and the 19th as well. Go Kurunui. Go Kurunui, uh, College of Our Hearts. And also... Um, the Whitehall First 15, they're commencing on the 8th of May with grading games for Premier One in Wellington. A very young team, but a lot of talent in there. Coached by Jonathan Tanner and Robbie Chook Anderson, the baby Chook. The baby Chook. The baby Chook, putting in into the coaching scene this year. Well done, Chook. Um, Brath Gill, they've had three games so far this season in preseason. Looking good, too. Looking good, unbeaten. They beat Hatapolda, uh, Palmy Boys, second 15, and Hastings Boys, second 15, I do believe, fairly convincingly. So... Uh, Stacey Grant at the helm there with a with an extensive coaching staff, so they're looking good this season. So go and follow them; that'll be a good team to watch. Um, and of course, Kurunui, coached by uh, my cohort here, Anton Pesico and Peter, the Forgotten Beach. Although, well, uh, that's that's arguable, Charlie. Joe Beach may now become the Forgotten Beach. I think so. Joe Beach has uh, moved to Wellington after what yeah. coming to the pressure from his older brother. I feel so. Yeah, yeah. yeah Peter, if you're listening. Perhaps no longer the Forgotten Beach. Yes, yes. And uh, Joe Beach, it's hard to live under your brother's shadow. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay. Now, have you got more to cover on that, Charlesy? What's uh, happening this year? Well, look, there's the Mohillians as well. Look, Mohillians, yes. yes. Later, Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday sorry. 12.30 at Maris. The Mohillians have got three teams turning up uh, from over the hill. Look, this is a bit of a giggle. It's very lighthearted. You're not going to turn up to work Monday sore. Uh, so, well, well, you might. Uh, I'm talking about rugby here. Now, if you're over 35, uh, look, contact Dean Gooden. He'll let you know about it. Or just turn up at 12.30 at the Marist Club Rooms on Sunday. It's a mixed game of rugby. So, men and women, get into it. Cool. 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 Will you turn up, Charlie? Certainly not. No, no, uh, no. real estate agents no. work on Sundays here. Yeah, yeah, so, I bet. Yeah. Now, I might miss that. Anything else to cover? That is about it. We've covered the JAB, yeah. Okay, so we're about to get into what uh, we're covering for you this season. But before we do it, Charles, we've got a little bit of housekeeping. Um, and we're going to go over accounts for last year. You know, we want to make sure everything's nice and tidy before we move into the season. So um, can you just please tick off for me some of these accounts? that Make sure we're on top of it. So uh, JC from Greytown. JT. JT, sorry, sorry, JT. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, JT. Uh, yeah, JT from Greytown, um, a bottle of vino that was paid. Okay. okay. Uh, Charlesy, you lost uh, against Maris and then you owed me a lunch with the Swan. You had to dress up in the Maris kit. You did that? Paid. All right. Tavita Isaac, a mutton that was paid? Yeah, it was paid. It was paid. The, uh, was paid. the mutton that was uh, yeah, I didn't. I, I thought it was going to be ready to cook, but it but obviously wasn't. And uh, rest in peace, Julie. Uh, also, Charlesy, uh, Rory the Stag. It was a great day there at Cardinal when what a what, what a bush played. And uh, Charlesy was Rory the Stag. The kids loved it. And uh, hang on, that's paid. Hey. We have an unpaid account here from T. Isaac. Yes, there is. So it must be Tavita Isaac. Correct. Okay, so this was an alpaca that was lost in last year's 
grand final versus Barris. Um, to take the financial pain away from Tavita, I limit. I, I brought it back to six chickens. Um, Charles, the chickens haven't been paid, have they? Six live chickens? Well, no, not yet. You, you want them now, pack it. You got your little cutty toy there, but yeah. look, to me, to change it to six chickens, you agree. Well, I can tell you what, first of all, you're going to get them. Right? I will get them. So if they're not paid by 2.35 on Saturday, which is the start of the kickoff of the Greytown Pioneer match, there's going to be chicken interest, to Vita, so there'll be one chicken per round that it's unpaid. So please just fix it up. This, this is a business thing. It's not personal. You know what I love you personally. And uh, I'm sure we can sort this out. Well, speaking of unpaid accounts, look, um, the Guinness Book of World Records. Uh, last year, there was a, a certain individual sitting beside me who, who booked up, I would I would say, one of the largest bar tabs and food tabs I've ever seen. Now, I have written to the Guinness Book, World Book of Records, and uh, we'll hear next week whether you have actually made that, Anton. There was a, yeah. an establishment in Greytown, North, which will remain unnamed. I, I, but, assure, um, I assure you that, um, that that was covered in the White Swans, a great venue. Does that pay? Yes. Okay, take that. Yeah. All right. So, hey, we want to thank our sponsors uh, for this year, the, the, all the businesses, local businesses that have come on board, supported us. Um, Charles, I'll let you start with a couple of these sponsors. Well, McDonald's, Marston, again, our sponsor from last year. Yep, we've got so many vouchers. They're back in here. These are going to get given out of games, so get along and support your team uh, and grab these, uh, these McDonald's we vouchers. We have 500 cheeseburger vouchers, and these were donated by... Or, or, or sponsored by Andre and Leone from McDonald's Masterton. It's a locally owned business, so thank you, Andre and Leone, for giving us all these vouchers. We have so many, so if you see us at the game, hit us up and we'll pass them on to you. Who else we got? Look, Barbershop Geordie. Look, I'm due for a haircut. I'm a little bit over I need a haircut too. So, Barbershop Geordie again, coming to the party. You've got to be a bit careful with cutting your hair, though, because well, he's got a hard job. Grow he's got a hard job. <laughs> put, put your head down for a second. <laughs> He's got a difficult job on his hand, Geordie. Uh, he is. Trying to hide my uh, receiving hair on. <laughs> now, the offering in Greytown, Bevan and Jackie Moreland, fantastic support again. They're on the offering. Uh, they're giving him 50, 50 free coffees uh, this season. The White Swan. Swan. The yeah. White Swan has done 10 $50 vouchers, so we'll give, that, give those out uh, across the course of the season as well. So thank you so much for your support. And, uh, and also Ray White. Ray White. Ray White. Ray White, Mark Charles and Ray White, pick the school competition. That will be back on this year. And thank you, Mark, and, and all the crew from Ray White, especially Brad Shaddock. He's such a good bloke. Oh, our pleasure. Okay, what have we got next? Right, moving along. The competitions okay, the competitions for this year. We've got the pick the school comp that comes back. It starts off at $200. If no one hits it, it will jackpot each week. Um, we've also got – this is a good one, Charles. This is a new one. Pick the score, $200. We'll announce that game shortly. But we've got a new one, which is a photo bomb Tony Hargood. Now, Tony Hargood, CEO of Whatever Bush, um, former commentator and new AR. Um, if you see Tony Hargood anywhere on the street, if you see him touch judging, if you see him in an important meeting, well, if, you, in the commentary box if, and give you a tip. If, <laughs> if you photo bomb him, and get in there. There's a five hundred dollar prize at the end of the season for the best photo, the best photo bomb on Tony this year. So five hundred dollars, five hundred bucks, and that's paid for by What Up Bush Rugby Union too. It is. It is. It's paid for. Fantastic initiative. Okay. Right. We also have college rugby. So college and JAB rugby. Each week we're going to uh, give a prize out for the Player of the Week competition. So when those competitions start, on the dates that Chazzy just told you. Um, uh, we'll let you know how to enter those competitions as well. Now, there's one uh, other person who I do want to sing out to, and that's Jade from uh, Jade uh, Photography. Sorry, Jade, I can't I can't pronounce your last name, but you sort of capture moments at the right time. And this moment right here with Mark Childs uh, in a pre-season match, yeah. with uh, it really did highlight that that it's a, sort of the triple chin is growing into like one growth. And you really did highlight it. For those that saw it on Facebook, I love your work. Um, but, Jade, keep up the photos. But this could be a photo of the year. Well, I'd rather focus on Ricky Brown and, and Paul Pottinger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk, let's talk about Paul Pottinger because he's come into the side as head coach well, of the great team. Not the side. Well, no. in the coaching, he's a coach. He's a head coach. Oh, look, I'd say a co-coach if you really want to be – Specific. Okay. Specific. <laughs> now, what's he's um, obviously very well known to a lot of local people. Uh, he first came to Greytown in 1994 and coached for a few seasons there and was the coach of the 95 winning championship side there. 
that I played in. And uh, look, I approached him to say, look, what are you up to? What's his uh, his reached retirement age? He's uh, he's got a bit of time on his hands, I'd say. And he was uh, more than willing to help out. So it's um, it's awesome to have him back. And he's making a, a big difference already to what's happening there. So yeah, yeah it's, it's been a pleasure to work with him. So and he's far. focusing more on the scrums and. Well, Potsy's the forwards coach and the yep. defence coach here. Okay. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that sounds great, Chelsea. Okay, this weekend, let's get into some games. We have the first game tonight. Um, we're only an hour, hour or so away, and that is uh, Ekaterhuna versus Gladstone. Uh, Chelsea, you've uh, been more involved pre-season with some, with some games with these guys. Tell us about Eki and tell us about Gladstone. Yeah, well, we played Gladstone uh, down in Martinborough the other week, and uh, look, the forward pack's experienced. I've got the two Andrews in the second row. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Nell there. They've, they've got some experience in that in that pack. So I expect them to be all, very well organised under the coaching of Steve Thompson. Uh, he'll have them uh, ready to go. There's a couple of ex-Rathkill boys in the back line there, Jeremy Osborne and Harry Eschenbach, who was looking very, very sharp indeed. So, look, they're going to be a challenge, I believe, for Ike Rahuna, uh tonight. And with Eki, I'll be talking to Chuck. Uh, look, there's... Those so stalwarts in the pack there, Johan van Vliet and BJ Campbell, and yeah. you know what you're going to get from them, a full 80 minutes of uh, non-stop rugby, uh, fantastic players. They'll hold that pack together, and Ekin Hoon have got some exciting additions to their back line. Uh, yeah. Josh Pepperell, uh, the son of uh, their coach, Craig Pepperell, who I played rugby with back in the day. Um, good on you, Pocahontas. Good to see you back in. Look, Ekin Hoon have got more depth in their back line this season. They might have lost a little bit of depth in the forward pack. Yeah. So, Glasson looking at that, may have the advantage up front, which could uh, be a telling factor in this game. Right, moving we'll on. We'll go on to the next game. So, now, who are you picking? Still good. Carry on. Okay. Just ask me who, who would I pick. Right. So, uh, who are you picking, Charlie, for the ekaterhuna Gladstone game? Well, look, I think it'll be a titanic battle. Ekaterhuna with home ground advantage under lights. But I'm going to I'm gonna pick Gladstone to win that one. Gladstone? Oh, I'm... I've got Eki at home under the lights, so I don't think Eki are, are, are gonna are gonna bow down under the lights here at home. Sorry, Chuck. Sorry, sorry, baby Chuck. And we promise not never to use your photo on here again. So the next game, Carterton versus Maris. Chelsea, um both of these sides haven't actually played a preseason game together. No, but Carterton I know of uh you know, got the checkbook out, or I'm not sure if it's the checkbook or there's a whole new group of players that have entered the Carterton yep. team. This season. Well, we got any uh, Cartier. Yeah, it's going through from Gladstone. Yep. And yeah. I, I thought I thought Carters in last year lacked a little bit of firepower. Um, I thought they were they were smoothing the breakdown a breakdown set piece. Uh, I think Any is going to bring that back and and give them some spark this year. Well, Any is certainly you know he's a danger all over the paddock. Doesn't matter what position he plays, you've got to keep your eye on him. So that's a definite advantage yeah. for for Carters in there and a and a negative for Gladstone, but. Yeah, Carlton, uh, by all accounts, have been working hard on their fitness. Um, they've got a good coaching group there and some very, very good players. So I expect them to be challenging hard for the trophies this season. Okay. Uh, on, the other hand, on the other hand, Maris, well, really, look, I've got no comment. You know what I think about Maris. What's that? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Maris uh, obviously lost eight players out of their starting 22 from last season. Um, so it, it, very difficult, obviously, to bounce, bounce back. Uh, they are obviously utilising the, the Lane Pen Cup uh, as their pre-season sort of warm-up. Um, well, how do you feel about that, Chelsea? Well, to be frank, the first round shouldn't be treated as a pre-season, in my opinion. You've got to go full noise, so that's my opinion on that. So if you're going to treat it as a pre-season, good luck um, to whoever's uh, dis disregarding the trophy, in my opinion. Yep, yeah, cool. Now, who's your pick for this one? Well, I'm definitely going for Carterton in this game. I, I think they've probably got the better preparation. I think they've gained more players. I think Maris have lost more players. So I'm going for Carterton to win this one. Yeah, I'm actually picking Carterton as well. I think Maris is going to bounce back once the Moose Carpenty Cup starts. Um, I, and I do think that they're going to ease into this competition. So I've got Carterton. So we've got to play this as rock on first up. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll take Maris. Go off, crikey. I'm all for <laughs> All right, Greytown Pioneer. This is uh, held in Greytown. Kickoff is two thirty-five, I believe, on Saturday, um, and it's going to be a massive day. The ground's looking fantastic down here. It is. Yep. It's looking great. Um, I've got Pioneer for doing some goal picking practice. Yeah, I have. A, I've got Pioneer for a massive upset. I think their um, their structure this year, their their their, their side is is come together. 
um, under obviously various new coaches. Okay, and okay. yes, and I think they are going to be really strong and tip great out. Well, look, I think there's a lot more uh, organisation this year with Pioneer and, and Mana, you know, with that coaching group uh, and a lot more focus. So it's going to be a, a stiff challenge for our side. And we're expecting them to come at us uh, full guns a-blazing that first 20 minutes. Um, and hopefully we've prepared well enough to, to handle that. Cool. I'll be at the game in Greytown at 2.35 on Saturday tomorrow. And uh, if you see me down there, I'm going to have some of these vouchers to give away. So hit me up. All right, the last game of the round. Yeah. East Coast, Martinborough. Mm. Now, this is the Pick the Score competition. So there's $200 up for grabs. You know the rules of the Pick the Score. Comment below. Uh, it's the first comment and the correct score that gets it. Uh, there's no super over. There's no split prizes. Um, and you've got till 2.35 on uh, tomorrow, Saturday, to put that score in, and you can win $200. If no one hits it this week, it jackpots and keeps jackpotting all year. 200 each week. Last year, we gave away $3,000 for pick the score competition. That was thanks to uh, Mark Charles and Ray White. So more than that, though. Like it was four grand. Wasn't it was a four yeah. total. You get your facts right. Yeah, well, it was your yeah. we accounting. So, <laughs> East Coast, Marty, do you know anything? About well, no, I know a little bit. Yeah, look, we play Marty pre season. There are a number of our players not there for Martinborough. Coaching James Bruce. So, I would, I would say they'll be a lot more organised than they were and competitive than they were in that pre season festival. So, I wouldn't read anything into that. I think um, they've got some dangerous backs. If they can get some. Some ball up front, they'll definitely be able to use it. East Coast, strong numbers out at the coast. Um, I think the, the club is very well organised. There's some great people out there and uh, the club's in good heart. So I expect them to be uh, very competitive as well. This game, uh, I'll probably be picking East Coast uh, to win. It yep. would be my pick, um, just given what I've heard. But you never know. It's just, it could be too close to call. Yeah, I've got Marty to win this one. I think Bruce is going to bounce back after last season and uh, Marty going to put in a really good effort. So... All right. So now, the Water Bush, what about you campaign? What about you campaign? So we promoted this last season when it kicked off. So the What About You campaign is all about looking after your mates. And look, we think if you're struggling out there, anyone, all you really need to do is just reach out to someone. Give someone a tap on the shoulder because there's a lot of people out there that will listen to you. And it's, um, it's, it can be hard in life to, to get through. Mm. But the What About You campaign is about looking after your mates and people that, you know, do listen, they have big tutting as they will listen to you. It's just reaching out. And also, look, what's your, you know, what's your alcohol intake? I think yeah. um, a, lot, a lot of the rugby players, you know, we've got this sort of reputation for, you know, binge drinking, getting on getting on the jars, um, and that can get out of hand as well. So if you see one of your mates that's in that position, um, unfortunately, it's got to be you that's got to grab that person, pull them aside, either put them in a taxi or get them home. So we're really going to focus on this issue a lot. And um, it is a topic that, you know, is in uh, our community. So um, let's all get them behind it. It'll be brought up every week. And um, as I say, it's a, it's a great campaign promoted by Wider Upper Bush Rugby. So let's all get them behind it. Yeah, you will see, Charlesy. And look, I'm, I'm going to look out, out for my mate, Mark Charles, this year. Um, we noticed, I noticed during the off-season, Charlesy's sort of dipped a bit a little bit. Sort of struggling on the top here. So I've gone out and I've, uh, we're going to do some product testing. And this is all about the What About You campaign. This is what you do for your mates. So I've gone and bought some uh, Advanced Hair Studios products. And um, we're going to trial this over the course of the year and see if we can grow back uh, Charlesy's head. So stay My tuned. Head. Well, you're, you're, you're here. here. Probably, you're yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the head's actually grow yeah. longer. But, but we're going to trial this product out over the course of the season. So stay in touch. Keep tuned and we'll keep watching and we'll see if we can um, grab back that here at Charlesy. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rugby this weekend. We're going to see you next week covering all the results uh, and also games for next week as well. Thanks for watching. Can I put some on?